Beyond the high street, Edwardian manufacturers often use travelling salesmen to get their goods deep into the countryside. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. I, I just wanted to... Can I come in and show you one or two items I've just brought up from London? Sure. OK. Avid collector Morris Collins owns over 400 historic inventions. And just press down. <laughs> He's come to the farm armed with his Edwardian wares. Do you have chickens, sir? We have a lot of chickens. I, I would, if I may, like to show you the very latest item that we are using for farms. And right. I will place this right over here, sir. Yep. And you will find that this will grade your eggs. The chicken drops its egg, it rolls down. Oh! <laughs> when it gets to the appropriate weight, it is then graded. How about that one? <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, that's certainly something Alex might be interested in. Let yeah. me just show you one or two other items. Now, I know you get up very early in the morning. Yeah. Cold, I am sure. Indeed. You can wear this, fill it with hot water, place it around your belly. Makes me look slightly larger than I already am. Does it matter, <laughs> sir, at five in the morning? No, cows don't care. <laughs> <laughs> this, in fact, it is what they call the propeller spoon, that you would actually mix your food. The propeller stirs it in the opposite direction, giving you double the result from half the effort. This is a bird caller. Which bird is that? Well, to be honest, we haven't quite established. <laughs> that sounds like Alex in the morning. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we have that might be of interest. Indeed. This, in fact, is the boot and shoe warmer. In this instance, you do not have to take your boots off. <laughs> well, one step at a time. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's quite something. And finally, I would like to show you the very ultimate in Edwardian technology. It's something that perhaps is going to sweep the country, and you are in at the beginning. <laughs> this, sir, uh, is the tease made. The tease The tease made. The tease made. And run, may I say, by <coughs> clockwork. This item is based upon a clockwork situation of your clock. What you would do is set the alarm at the appropriate time that you wish to uh, arise. I would imagine it's about five in the morning. About ten in the morning, yeah. Ten in the morning? <laughs> about five in the morning. What would happen is you would actually fill the night before yep. your kettle with the water. Right. As soon as the time arrives, this would automatically fly across there the um, emery cloth would then strike on the match, which will light that heater. And when the kettle is boiled, it was tilt like that into the teapot, and then this iron would flash back and cut out the burning flames. That is absolutely fantastic. You have a vast selection of items here. Is there any one that you feel that would satisfy your immediate needs? The hen's egg sorter, perfect for our chicken concern. The boot warmer, perfect for my frozen feet. I mean, I, I want all of them. I need none of them. But I would quite like to possibly purchase this. I mean, how much is this going to set me back? Uh, well, around about two pound. And in Edwardian labour would probably be earning roughly around 20 shillings a week. Right. So 20 shillings is what, a pound? And this is Absolutely. just over two pounds. So this what? is over two weeks. Wages. But sorry, well worthwhile. Yeah. It gives you the height of fashion in terms of domestic wear. Mm -hmm. And for you, we will do it paid on the never never. We'll send a man round to knock on your door to collect the money. Don't tell Alex or Ruth. <laughs>